trouble, trouble, dun 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 dun, dun trouble, trouble, trouble. It's the Jeffrey G Show. Hey, boo, what up? What up, happy Monday. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, it's Monday, January 21st, 2013. This is Daily Talk. Happy Martin Luther King Day, everybody. I'm Jeffrey G. This is Dutchie. How are we doing today, bud? Good. Happy Monday. Martin Luther King. We're celebrating Martin Luther King and all of our African-American friends, silly. We're going to have a great day. Wahoo, by the way. My birthday song to John to Gian got a great response from the birthday boy. He even posted it on his own wall. So, that's awesome. And remember, it's for mature audiences, so don't watch it. I don't want you judging me. So, um, great weekend. Great weekend at work. Um, had a great, you know, good money, good friends, family, fun, whatever. Um, but no, it was a great weekend. Um, I just want to wish a happy birthday to Joan. Happy birthday, Joan. Um... I'm going to tell you a quick story about Joan. She's one of my regulars. She's probably in her 80s in a wheelchair, and her daughter Kathleen comes to the restaurant. They always sit in my section. And you really don't know how you touch people's lives because um, her family all flew in for her birthday. And I couldn't wait on them because it was at nighttime and I was already off. But I met her family, her long-distance family, and they were just like, thank you so much for being so nice to my mom. You know, she loves you. She talks about you all the time. So you really don't know the impact you have on somebody. So that made me feel that was like the best gift of the week for me. So thank you, Dolenz. And happy birthday, Joan. Um, I got to make an appointment for the boys. Duke keeps having seizures and... Dutchie's just lethargic. I think he's just getting old. But if I say pizza, they all wake up. Um, so I watched the season premiere of the Courtney and Kim Take Miami, the Kardashians. Same old bullshit. It's just like a different season. You know, Courtney gets mad at Scott for going out to drop um, Chloe and Kim off, and she thinks he's drinking, and he's not, and blah, 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 same old drama. Put my show on E, please. I have to call Chelsea because we're getting rid dick. Even though she is making up with the Kardashians this year, she says, she claims. But it was still entertaining, so. Anyway. Um, I have to start doing and stop talking with the diet in the gym. I mean, I get at the point where my body, like, I feel gross. Like, I feel the fat hanging. So it's time to do something. Oprah's next chapter was on last night. It was pretty good. It was with Drew Barrymore. Um, did you know that Drew Barrymore was smoking pot at 11, doing coke at 12, in rehab by 13, hanging out at Studio 54 when she was 7? Um... Then she got, like, after rehab, she was blacklisted from Hollywood, kind of. And she actually worked at a coffee shop to make ends meet. I didn't know that. But anyways, I love Drew Barrymore, so it was a really interesting show you should watch. Um, who will I sing about next? I had to think about this. It just comes to me, you know what I mean? I didn't plan the John to Gia birthday song. It just, like, hit right there, right, right then and there, and I got the camera and did it. So we'll see who hits me next. Um, Anthony, my friend Anthony at work. Every time he sees me, he always imitates Oprah. And he's like, it's Jeffrey. So we were doing Oprah all day at work yesterday. I love working with him. I walked past um, Poppy on stable, my coworker, and I had her fritters, and I was delivering them to two straight guys, and I just went, count fritters, and put them on the table. And she was at the table, and she was like, Thanks. I love doing that and embarrassing my coworkers at work. When they're specialing people, and like I'll walk past and I'll hear Jake say, Kitchen ribeye, and I'll be like, ribeye! 
And I just keep walking and the tables think I'm crazy. Um, do you feel like an adult? That's what Oprah, I do. That's what Oprah asks Drew Barrymore. Um, Oprah says she feels like an adult. Now Drew Barrymore says she finally feels like an adult. I don't feel like an adult. I don't feel I have an adult life. I don't feel I have adult things. So I gotta work on that. So, um, my friend Sterling, who works at Publix, um, I was getting cashed out yesterday by her, and she goes, Jeff, I've been watching your videos. You crazy. And I thought it was funny, because everyone says that I'm crazy, but I'm not. I mean, what, I watched all they want on Chelsea Handler. You crazy. Whatever. Um, so it's really weird. Duke knows when I order pizza. Like, I can make a thousand phone calls, but when I make a call to order pizza, and I start out by saying, can I have a delivery, please? He comes right up to the phone and starts looking at me. He's a smart, he's a smart boy. This one, he's smart, too. Are you smart? Yes. All right. Time for G-Spot News. All right. Barbara Walters is recovering in a hospital. She fell in a stair at the British ambassador's house, and she cut her head. Um, so she went to the hospital to get her head checked out, um, but she seems fine, says representatives at ABC. The British ambassador's house. Go ahead, Barbara. A very busy woman. And that's when I feel bad because I call my mom like, I'm so tired, I'm so tired. She says, I'm 61 and I'm working and I'm not tired. You can't be tired. And Barbara Walters is like 8,000 years old. She's still working, so I gotta stop that. Um, Octo Mom is gonna be performing in Florida in West Palm Beach, February 14th to the 16th. She'll be doing uh, four 15 minute intervals, strip shows, and then she'll be bartending. Go ahead, Optimum. Go ahead. Justin Bieber moved the camera this weekend and then posted it on Instagram and then deleted it. People made a big deal about it. Whatever. He's 18. He's having fun. It was a joke. Get over it, people. Um, Tom Arnold and his wife are expecting their first baby. Ugh, gross. I wonder if Tom Arnold still has a tattoo of Roseanne on his chest and how his wife feels when she has sex with him with that. It's interesting. i got to check on that. I'll get back to you on that. Because he's got this big portrait of Roseanne when they were married. I bet you couldn't get it removed. Chris and Bruce Jenner, Kardashians, their house was um, swatted this weekend. So supposedly there's a new prank going around. People will call the police and say, Hi, I'm Bruce Jenner in my house. There's gunshots at my house. And this whole SWAT team comes and invades the house. And there was no shooting. It happened to some other celebrity in the middle of the week. So it keeps happening. What celebrity will be next? Who knows? Um, Monty Teo is going to give his first interview. Uh, he's a football player that said his girlfriend was dead when she was really alive. And all this craziness. So he's giving his first interview to Katie Curry. It'll be interesting to hear. Uh, Selena Gomez is singing Justin Timberlake's Cry Me a River. She said she can definitely relate to the song. Hmm. Maybe because Justin Bieber dumped her. Britney Spears was seen over the weekend ringless after poor Jason Trawick broke off the engagement. And Rosie shows off her new daughter Dakota on Twitter. Cute kid she adopted. And last but not least, Lady Gaga is set to headline the inaugural ball tonight for Obama's campaign staff. So we'll watch that tonight because it's the inauguration. And I'm sure Oprah will be there. And it's on Martin Luther King Day because we have a black president. Love my blacks. Um, all right, it's Monday, January 21st, 2013. Have a great Monday, everybody. We'll see ya. Probably tomorrow, if not tomorrow, Wednesday, but we'll see tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. Look at these decals I got for my scooter. J and G. I'm going to bling out my new scooter. And i got to show you guys that I forgot. I'll do that tomorrow, too. 
All right, have a great Monday, everybody, and remember. Touchy, what are we gonna remember then? To say hi to someone today. Bye. Cause I knew you were in trouble when you walked in. Thanks for telling me.